So the other day I was watching this wedding channel and basically um, the girl was saying when she was saying her vows she was saying to her husband that he's a perfect reflection of God's heart for her and I thought to myself wow that's a mighty statement she's saying he's a perfect reflection of God's heart for her and knowing my God I my God loves me okay my God cherishes me my God wants me to be okay my God wants me to be great my God wants me to be loved like Christ loved the church and gave himself for her so I'm thinking to myself perfect reflection of God's heart for her she must have really seen her husband or her husband to be and said this guy <laughs> shows how much this guy shows me how much God loves me this guy shows me what's in God's heart for me wow so basically if you're experiencing disrespect in your relationship I don't think that's God's heart for you if you're experiencing um, you know abuse of any kind that's not God's heart for you if you're experiencing lies and cheating and unfaithfulness that's not God's heart for you so I really think I'm not here to point all the things that are not God's heart for you but that's why it's very important to have a relationship with God even through Christ to be able to know what his heart is for you and in the Bible is reading all up in there what God's heart is for you and basically I'm just thinking if you know what God's heart is for you you will not accept some things that you are accepting into your life some things that make you feel down and sad and upset and emotionally messed up you will not allow those things into your life because you know this is not God's heart for me and unless you can really say that kind of statement this person is a reflection of God's heart for me I really think there's a problem unless you can say that statement you cannot go into a marriage relationship unless you can say that statement and this goes for guys and um, guys and girls this is not just women saying the man is the perfect reflection of God's heart for her the man should be able to say she is a perfect reflection of God's heart for me you should be cherished you should be loved you should be respected you should be loved so people I hope that helped and what do I always say have a frank day not with Frank, but with you. Bye. I think the last video I said not with, not with yourself. I don't know. I need to figure out what I've been saying all this time. Uh, you know, all this time because I'm thinking I'm changing the words, people. That's all right. Though. Maybe y'all should write it down in the comments. But what I, what I, oh, what I used to say in my last video. So that way I can get back to what it's all about. All right. Bye, everybody.